<laughs> Welcome to my kitchen, everyone. Dr. Anna Kabeca here. I am here with some of my daughters and um, Amanda. Amira's over there putting everyone to work. We just came back. Oop, here we go. We just came back from the, well, one person, Amanda, went grocery shopping. So we're kind of dividing and conquering, all working together so that we are, you know, we're in this together anyway, right? We are all in this together. So we're working together. Let me fix this a little bit. There we go. We're working together in preparing what we're going to do for the week. I'm going to share just a couple things with you guys. I'm sharing my screen. I First, I just want to say that um, you know, we, I am fully aware we're in the midst of a pandemic and we are all here together doing the best we can. I want to keep us all focused in line, positive and healthy. Ladies, men listening, you guys are leaders. You guys are leaders of your household, leaders of your family, leaders of your community. And we're going to create as much positivity as we possibly can. So I'm here with you to help you and me and my family and my community and those that I love and care about very much, you included. I'm here to help you improve your health, stay focused as we go through this. I know we're, again, I know what stress can trigger. It can trigger anxiety. It can trigger fear. It can trigger um, a wide range of emotions. It can trigger binge eating and binge drinking. Things that we may have conquered decades ago can come back up to haunt us. And I get that. I have been through hurricanes and many of you know my story, including the very tragic loss of my son, Garrett, and my daughter's baby brother. And what we know is that when we stick together, we keep our mind focused on the positive, express gratitude and love, we will come through this. We will come through this. And I'm here to do it with you. I'm going to keep you busy. I'd love for you guys. So many of you, I see several of you guys have already joining here. And I know many of you are already on board with the free 10 day masterclass I gave you. I don't want you to feel stressed. I'm going to guide you, support you, um, inspire you and be right here along with you committed to live a healthier life and be more resilient. Sound good? So let me just show you guys where we're at. And then I'm going to kind of show you what we're prepping. And I'll give you some of my kitchen tips and um, uh, success tips in the kitchen. Uh, other than, you know, give my girls the cooking duties. So I'll share some great stuff with you. But I want to share my screen a second here. And um, let's do this. Share very quickly. Um, so... In uh, prep day, this is what you guys get. In the notes here on this stream, this live stream, you'll see a link to enter my Breeze Through Menopause Masterclass for free, uh, starting, start, you know, un, up through the 31st, you enter for free. So share that link, share that code with everyone you know, have them come along with you. We're gonna just be improving our overall health. In Breeze Through Menopause, what we do, we go through a different topic each day. And again, whether you're pre-menopause, in menopause, or well post-menopause, this masterclass will help you. It's my keto green way. It's a snapshot into what I take my magic menopause ladies through. Many of them, I've asked them to come be support in our keto green community to continue to be leaders and also to help and uh, and join me along this journey as well. So we're going to go through, uh, you know, uh, many different topics throughout these 10 days, talking about hormones, talking about alkalinity, so important for our immune system, and why we're not getting alkaline and, and discuss some of these things on a daily basis for the next 10 days, amongst other topics and other um, special guests that I'll be bringing you. You guys were on for my exercise workout a couple days ago with the Betty Rocker, the famous amazing lady. And she gave you her, her five day challenge, her workout program and make that cry challenge. So you guys have that, but I want to, um, share with you. Uh, again, you have the breeze through menopause cookbook. You can download all these recipes and, um, it shows up 
on a PDF, you can print that out or you can keep it on your PDF. But each day for the next 10 days, we're gonna go through something. Prep day talks about making your measurements. Again, I want you to be focused. You do not have to do this, but I do want you to watch, listen, and learn, okay, to the best of your ability and look at some of the recipes and everything that we have for the rest of the week. So um, I must have missed day one here. Day two is on what's a hormone and we'll you know, it goes on from there with the recipes, but you can download the recipe book. So you guys have access to all of this, this 10 day masterclass lifetime access for free. And you'll get an email when you um, sign up. So, so definitely do that and join me in this. Oops, let's see, there we go. And join me in this 10 days. So let's see who's here now. I see Jane. Great, you guys. Hi, Jane. Great to see you. Jerry's here and seems like she's in her kitchen and prepping and happy about it. And uh, Jane, uh, one of my superstars. Hey, Jane. Great to see you again. Francine is here. Great. Thanks, you guys. Lori. Great seeing all you guys. And um, Esther wrote, can I share a link? In the notes of this, there should be a description. If you don't see it, it's, it there's the link, dranna.com forward slash breeze 2020 and healthy me 2020, but double check me. It's in the link in the description of this. And, and um, Emily says, thank you, thank you. Elle says, thank you, you guys are very welcome. It's nice to see you guys and um, be here with you. So welcome ladies and guys and let me just talk about what i do to prep and to prepare we can still get lots of fresh vegetables so amanda is in the dirty zone amanda she's in the dirty zone of the kitchen she brought in the groceries and put them in the dirty area everything she takes out the vegetables she is go ahead and demonstrate young lady let's see <laughs> Amanda, oh, so that's a beautiful leek. Leeks are very good for detoxification, sulfation, supports. Again, they're all of these foods are going to be medicinal. Food is medicine. So is medicine. right into the subby water, subby, subby, <laughs> soapy, soapy water. We've got some soapy water. She is doing the soapy water. Oh, yeah, there she is. Okay. And you guys can see that. And what she's done here has cleaned the uh, food and um, it's there to dry. All of this is the clean section. And uh, she's been doing that as well with, oh, come over here, girls. So my goddaughter, Isabella, and my youngest daughter, Ava Marie, is here. Hey, say hello to everyone. Hi. Hi. So it's, it's, a family, it's a family event, but we're a little bit crowded in the kitchen right now. So um, we're going to have some I'm gonna have you guys uh, cut up some papaya and make papaya ice cream later. Does that sound good? Mm -hmm. What's papaya? Papaya is this beautiful. You have it. You just. I'm going to plant uh, um, papaya in our backyard. Will they grow? Well, we are gonna do that too. The next time I cut open a papaya, the papayas are really good for women's health, sexual health, and uh, are just a great low calorie supportive digestive supportive food it's one of my 16 foods in keto green 16 so papaya with coconut milk and um, some natural sweets some cinnamon it's going to make a fabulous dessert blend it up put it in little cups and frozen so is papaya fruit papaya is a fruit it is absolutely fruit with anything. a bunch of seeds you have eaten it before I don't, I don't really. You just typically, it. you're going to prepare it. So now you're going to really like know a, what it a, is. Can, 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 cantaloupe. Can, it does kind of look like a cantaloupe. So, well, we're with the uh, our Keto Green community, my YouTube group, and we are getting ready to prep. And this is family friendly meals. Everyone in the family can eat what we're preparing today. <laughs> Everyone in the family can eat what we're preparing today and they will love it. Um, Ava Marie, now 12, was the initial or the second backup taste tester for my uh, Mighty Maca Plus formulation. So the girls, Amanda and Amira, taste tested and then Ava Marie did some more. So um, Amanda's wiping the containers with uh, Clorox and the vegetables are getting soaked. The... Um, Packaged goods are getting wiped down with Clorox, and, and that's kind of how we're doing it. 
These cutting boards are great because you can fold them. They're easy to wash and, and clean. And I use a bunch on prep day. And what we end up doing is prepping in bulk. And I love to use my food processor when I'm doing something like this because it just makes it so easy, but you don't have to. A good knife. And good helpers. And we are, we are good. So if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate. Emily says, yum. Tammy says, hi. Mary says, I've been cleaning all veggies and fruits. I haven't grown myself with long soap soakings and careful rinsing too. Perfect, Mary. Mary is one of our magic menopause queens. She's amazing. Mm -hmm. And I'm um, glad to see you here, Mary. And she's watching from YouTube. So yeah, we're stream streaming both. Now, um, we are on our prep day. And so what do we, I want to just share with you, don't get caught up in the recipes if that feels overwhelming. They're a fabulous recipes for our chefs in our audience. Mm -hmm. But I really want you to understand what a keto green plate looks like. Both my children, uh, adult children here, Amanda and Amira, and um, are fabulous cooks. Brittany is at her home, yes. and she's a fabulous cook too. So know your ingredients and just go with it. Oh, you want to show them the um, everything bagel seasoning? Now, you're going to want to make a lot extra. Okay, I know, but I was just doing the little color color coding. coding. Okay. But, okay, so we have... For so one of the things seed. is make it taste great. So your their seasoning is everything. Seasoning is everything. When you season with salt and pepper and spices and herbs, it's really, really nice. But one of the um, recipes I give you is the everything bagel seasoning, and which is really nice for a lot of the foods. Like just putting it on the smoked salmon just adds another dimension of flavor. And all of these spices have, again, food is medicine herbs, spices, seeds, sesame seeds, you know, uh, poppy seeds, they're all very you know, supportive nutritionally, rich in iron, zinc, minerals, magnesium, potassium, and we want that too. And plus, again, supporting our body's detoxification processes, keeping us healthy, micronutrients, herbs, spices, wonderful. I know some people aren't comfortable using, using them, um, but it, it just makes all the difference. And even if you're not comfortable, some things that I really love is, you know, Real Salt. This company is fabulous, Redmond Real Salt, and they have Himalayan salt and other seasons, already seasoned mixes that are, are just fabulous. You can see I, I use them a lot. This is one of their, um, they have organic onion, onion powder mm -hmm. and some other things. So, Amira will teach that to you, but let me see. I see some questions. Uh, Jean says, I love cooking demos. Me too. I love to watch them. Um, you know, again, I, I never learned to, I've got all these recipes. I had help writing the recipes, a uh, creative cook. And that's what I want to teach you guys watching today is just creatively creating your keto green plate. Okay. So that we're going to really focus on how we're nourishing our body and our families during this time. And I've just been so much listening uh, to what is uh, what many people are, are feeling frustrated with or uh, struggling with, including the emotions, the emotions during this time. So I'm here for you. And I will um, address everything. Lori said, I just purchased thieves the veggie wash all things thieves in our house right now. I am a huge fan of thieves. I love thieves essential oil. I have them in my bathrooms and often will run a diffuser with thieves oil in it. I did not know they have a veggie wash. I'm going to look at that. Lori, if you could put a link for that veggie wash, that would be great. Jane's like, whoa, Amira's out of quarantine. Yes, she is. Thank Woo! you. I know because I brought her from Woo! Holland. Uh, um, Sunday two weeks ago. So she is out of quarantine. Jane is like, Woo -hoo. yes, 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 yes. Okay, perfect, you guys. And let me just see here. The question came in from YouTube. So I'm gonna check this out real quick. And Amir, you want to go ahead and um, talk about the spices, uh, the everything bagel seasoning? Okay. Everyone loves an everything bagel, especially me. I love onion and garlic, two of my favorite things, and lemon, but you can always squeeze it on your bagel later. 
So we have poppy seeds. We do the organic McCormick poppy seeds. Minced garlic. We have minced garlic. We also have garlic powder, you know, extra garlic. Okay. Salt. Onions. Garlic Sesame is an seeds. allium. Garlic and onion are alliums. They're good in sulfation. They're really good antiviral, antifungals. Often if we have a bacterial infection, ear infections, nasal infections, you can use garlic oils mm. and extracts. Sick, eat a just fresh clove. Eat fresh cloves of garlic, yes. Burns, but so good. But it make sure the rest of your family eats it too, you know? <laughs> so you can all, all have the same kind of breath. Okay. So I just layered my spices in here. Shake it up. And now we have. Can we so did you list all the spices? Yes, we have okay, poppy perfect. seeds. Oh, actually, I did not put fennel seeds in here. Poppy seeds, sesame seeds, garlic, onion, sea salt, and fennel seeds. Very simple mm -hmm. ingredients. Nice mm. and come. come what I'm asking home. you guys to do too is oh, also yeah. being leaders, leaders of your home, leaders of your community. I know you guys are just a, amazing women. And so I wanted um, to share with you one of my favorite quotes. She believed she could, so she did. She believed she could, so she did. Faith in action, faith with action is what it takes. So as we're going through this, you, each of you hold in your heart, feel what even healthier, more peace, the peace that surpasses all understanding, what that feels like. And we are going to continue to stay in this space of peace and right action, right action, right next steps. I did get a, a question in uh, my YouTube group. Elaine said, I'm menopausal and my doctor wants to put me on testosterone pellet therapy. Are those high level safe or do you prefer the testosterone cream you rub in? Elaine, I would say that it really depends because, you know, if you were my patient, I would know your history. I would know what you're dealing with, what um, is, uh, thanks, Lori, for putting that up there. Um, what your, you know, what your, you know, more of your history and your background. So I can't give you medical advice, but I would tell you, you know, trust your instincts. Sometimes if you haven't been on testosterone, it's nice to start with a cream or a trochee, and that way you can increase or decrease the dose. And also talking with your doctor about starting low with testosterone pellets typically 75 milligrams. And for some that may be too much, 75 to 100 milligrams, typically pretty good healthy dosing, but it really depends on you and your doctor and what you're, you're dealing with right now too. Um, definitely when we are going through stressful time, progesterone is depleted to go to cortisol. I talked about this in a couple videos back. And so um, can check out that one. They were really talking about some hormones. And I believe that was day one or two on the this stream of, of videos that have been posting to Facebook. So um, great question. Thank you for asking that. All right. So a couple things that we're going to do with our leaves. Our leaves make great. I just want to share with you too. Our leaves make great sandwiches. They make great for tacos. And so a lot of times, anytime you want to make greens, but leaves are great as boats, tuna, salmon, roll them up. Our, one of our recipes for tomorrow is nori roll. And so just using the nori paper, or if you don't have nori, don't worry, use a leaf, a fresh leaf. We can still get some beautiful fresh vegetables, soap them, wash them, and, um, and enjoy them, enjoy them. So, but this is a nice way to eat food, make a wrap, and um, you still get a nice crunch with these thicker, these heavier leaves. So, um, all right. So then we would typically chop all these up. So I'll let Amira chop these up and then we're going to put them in glass containers. Also because of space saving in the fridge and the freezer, we're cooking now for five. I did get um, the um, storage bags because they're going to go in the freezer, never going to heat in a plastic bag, but for storage that can just save space in your fridge and make, um, and make um, 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 make it easier, make it easier to grab and get and then use for several recipes over the next day. So prepping in bulk is always beneficial. Tammy wrote, what is a trick? Uh, it's a trochee, T-R-O-C-H-E. It's a way to use hormones, bioidentical hormones. So um, Jean wrote, using more progesterone now and keeping my calm, ladies, two times a day. Me too. 
Me too. The PPR, Pure Balance PPR Cream. I'm using it twice a day right now as well. But listen to your body, check your labs, talk with your doctor, and also, you know, determine if it's, you know, what's right for you. So one thing when you're making, um, let's see how I'm doing with my veggies. Oh my gosh. Oh, the greens are pitiful, Amanda. At the grocery store. So beets are beautiful, but beet greens are what we want. Beet greens is one of my favorite dishes. You guys hear me talk about it. It is very bitter and they're often very um, sandy. So you really have to clean these, soak these, wash these well. And But it is one of the best things. This is something that's really hardy and you can plant beet greens in your garden. The girls may have a borscht or some beet something later, but I don't eat the beets very rarely or a little bit goes a long way because they are higher in sugar, but they're rich in, in nutrients to help with increasing your nitric oxide. Nitric oxide formation increases blood flow and oxygenation. So uh, you definitely want to use this. One thing I did for my youngest, because um, in making a, a, a keto green smoothie, I'll add a sliver of beet and it makes it look like it's a strawberry smoothie. So beautiful and so good for you. So here is this. this here. And so Amir is going to cut some of the kale. That can just go in the fridge like that. But uh, also celery is great for your keto green smoothies, onions, you know, chop them up in bulk. I'll put them in my food processor and store them in a bag so that I can use them all throughout the week. And I also put some in the freezer. So this way I can just prep once, keep everything fresh and um, as uh, that I can keep fresh, but everything else will go in the freezer and it's fine. The bok choy is one of my favorite. Um, you also have to clean it really well. Bok choy is one of my favorites because this you can use as a dip. If you're, you know, with some guacamole or avocado, you can use these as little boats too, like with tuna salad or egg salad and eat them this way. So you're actually making a lot of keto greens. So when you're looking at your plate, let me grab my plate. When you're looking at your plate, beet greens are going to be sauteed. There's, you know, this, you're going to chop this up, put them in a frying pan with onion and ghee and seasoning, salt, pepper, onion powder, just the onions, and um, a little bit of lemon juice towards the end. And it's a fabulous alkaline, it's the most alkalizing food. This always will get me alkaline. So um, when you're looking at your plate, you're going to put 75% greens and then protein, which is still in my dirty bag. So I can't um, go into that yet. But you're going to put palm size amount of protein, it's in the palm of your hand and then just think about a quarter cup of fats and oils but don't, again don't get obsessive about um proportions or macros or if it feels like that's going to stress you out but otherwise take the take this guidance and really think 75 percent greens whether sauteed or raw if you have trouble with digestion you want them um, cook typically raw will be harder to digest if you're getting a lot of bloating or gas. So then cook it and then 75% green palm size of your protein and, um, and your healthy fats in every meal, olive oil and essential extra virgin olive oil, always an essential and ghee use butter or ghee. And um, I, because I have a dairy sensitivity, I can use ghee, but butter sometimes um, is iffy for me as much as I love it. All right. So uh, let me see what questions you guys have. Um, I don't know. Oops. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then sometimes when you guys are in um, the kitchen together, some things fall and break, <laughs> but it's all good. And said in another video, you mentioned a wrap that you used for the breakfast burritos. Can you please share that? Yeah. So uh, you can definitely use this, you know, a big, beautiful leaves, collard leaves, greens. And you can also use nori. Man, I'm grabbing the nori out of the, be careful where you walk. Is it gospel? Yeah. So do you want to show what you've done here? So things are ready. And those can go in um, the, I like the, the scallions. Amira cut up all the scallions. 
the greens will just put these probably in two separate um, storage bags. Um, and John, one of the things I was talking about was this nori and you can make this like your your breakfast burrito with nori, nori and actually that's one of the recipes in day one so no rice we don't use rice avocado helps it stick together so sliced avocado drizzling some olive oil and adding some onions can all can all help so that sound good Tammy said, it seems like raw greens hurt me after my colon was removed. Can I still do keto green if I can't do salads and such? Yeah, absolutely. So we want to add in alkalinizers, alkalinizers. When you get um, the my book, Keto Green 16, on the bonus page is our uh, quick start guide and a roadmap as well as substitution guide. So that can that can help, but typically even with a colon removed, you can do nori. Nori is excellent, excellent, rich in nutrients, and also a little bit of iodine, which we need to support our thyroid and thyroid health. So get everyone working in the kitchen. Oh, I just want to show this. You can also wrap use thin slices of cucumber, um, a little thinner. You can sharpen yeah. that knife. Yeah. That'll be better. Um, uh, to also use a wrap or to kind of make, um, uh, you can eat it this way, just like as a, a sandwich plate, just to have that nice crunch and bless your food before you eat. Say blessings every day. There's so much for us to be grateful for. Blessing our food improves our physio physiology, saying grace before a meal, a blessing, and, and showing so gratitude blessing. to those who have helped prepare it or help have helped grow it and raise it and whatever the case may be, improves our physiology. In our magic menopause community, we always talk about our cheer word, our word that makes us smile. And I'd love for you guys to share your share your cheer word with me uh, under this video. So share away and let me know how you're doing. And I'll be back tomorrow, approximately 430 as well. Thank you guys. Get prep, get ready. Watch that first video on prep day. Share this video with all your friends. Encourage them to join it. Spread the word. We need more wise women, strong, healthy leaders to come together and support their communities. And so it starts with your health, your energy, your peace that surpasses all understanding. And let's do this together. Sound good? Beautiful. Thank you guys. Oh, Thanks for being here. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> it's a mess in the kitchen. <laughs> it's good. And Cheryl has uh, her word is happy sunshine. Yep, both words make you smile for sure. Mine is typically jiggle, jiggle, <laughs> or or cheers and smile. Those are some of my great words. All right, you guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. I'm